Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soul Magic Inspirations and Star Child Tarot. I'm here at my daughter's so I'm very restricted on the cards I can use right now. Um, but today I felt guided to do this um, next major changes in your life. So we've got pick a pile, so pile one, pile two, and pile three. And I just want to say a really big thank you for your love and support. If you'd like to support me further, you can check out my deck shop, Over 90 Designs, and check out my Patreon, just £3 a month. And personal readings can be purchased. All the links are down below. So we're going to start with pile one. So we've got magical blessings are pouring into your life. And this is one of my new decks. It's not in my shop. But if you're interested and email me, I can get, get it for you. So yeah, magical blessings are pouring into your life. So it feels like a very magical time for you right now. Okay. So just open up to receive. And this is my life lessons deck. We've got someone reaches out by phone. It could be unexpected. And this is my shades of night deck. And have firm boundaries with others. And end to conflict or resolution. Be honest with yourself. Fated meeting soulmates. So for some of you, I feel this could be a reconnection, if that resonates. It could be a reconnection with somebody you're not talking to or speaking to right now because we've got someone reaches out by phone and it could be unexpected, but it could be somebody new you're talking to um, that you suddenly decide to have a conversation. Um, you could have in the past not had good boundaries with others. We've got have a firm boundary with others. Um, I feel maybe this is a lesson you've been learning. Um, maybe you didn't protect your energy or your space. And maybe you didn't, you allow people to treat you in not, not a great way. And we've got an end to conflict. So for some, it's definitely somebody reaching out. Maybe you've got conf in conflict with somebody. And with the Dove of Peace, I, I feel you're going to find a peaceful resolution. And it's saying be honest with yourself. So if this is somebody returning... You know, be honest with yourself about this. Is this somebody you still want in your life? Is this somebody that's good for you? Is this somebody that treats you right? You know, obviously only you know the answer to that. But there could be an opportunity for a new start here. And maybe this person has changed. And we have got fated meeting. Soulmate. So for some of you, it could be somebody new who is a soulmate. Okay, somebody that you're destined to meet. <clears throat> and you know that you're going to have really good communication with this person they're going to honor your boundaries they're going to respect your space okay because i feel that you've been doing work on that and you know this is a blessing you know there's a new connection coming in so for some <clears throat> as i say it could be from the past for others it could be a brand new one and we've got come to the edge so i feel this is like this reminds me of the full energy and we've got the number three plus six, which is a nine, which is the end almost. And after nine is the, the ten, which is a one, a new beginning. So I feel you're ready for a new beginning. I feel you're ready to take a leap of faith in your life, to take a chance. Okay, maybe you've been stuck or stagnant for a while. And there's loads of hearts there, if you can see that. So this is around love. Okay, definitely I feel you're, re you're ready to take a chance on love again after maybe some heartbreak and some, you know, disappointments. I feel you're ready to take a chance on love again. Yeah, and we've got truth be told. So I feel, again, you need honesty. You want honest communication. If this is somebody returning, I feel they are going to be honest with you. They are going to speak their truth because you want the truth. You want that honest communication and you're being honest and you want others to be honest and you're not going to accept anything less then honesty, open, honest um, communication with, you know, the person from the past or the new person. And we've got number one plus four, five, which is about change. And we've got the owl of wisdom. And again, we've got loads of hearts. So it's definitely around love. I feel this is your message is mainly around love. Okay. And you want honest, open communication 
with people you know that you're in relationships with and you you want them to respect your boundaries you want them to be honest with you as you will be honest with them you don't want to get into conflicts you want smooth sailing you want peaceful uh, resolution of any conflicts and you want them to respect your boundaries and we've got great adventure take a risk venture forward so there is an opportunity for a great adventure um, and I feel you know this is in love but it could involve travel we've got some we've got a boat here so maybe you live in different parts of the world different continents and there is water between you okay and it does involve some travel or this you're going to travel with this person you're going to see more of the world with this person you're going to have adventures you're going to want to take a risk we had that full you know come to the edge energy so this person could encourage you to become more adventurous and you go on adventures together because they get you out of your comfort zone we've got our uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty so going deep with somebody, you know, going deep, really having the deep connection, those open, honest conversations. <clears throat> I feel that's what you want with somebody. You want to uncover the treasure beneath the surface, get to the root of who they are. And I feel this is mutual. You're both going to want to really understand and have that deep knowing of each other and sharing your secrets, maybe, you know, some good and, and bad experiences and sharing your life experiences and really growing close and becoming um, very connected, have that deep understanding and intimacy with each other. And we've got mushroom magic, exploring, exploring new states of consciousness, untapped potential. So yes, again, I feel you are becoming more aware, more awake in yourself. Um, maybe you have a good intuition, your crown chakra is open and you want to communicate with somebody in a spiritual way, maybe a soulmate energy to inflame. You want to have that um, deep connection. Maybe you want to have that telepathic connection with somebody. Maybe you're already connected with somebody on the 5D, this person in your dreams. OK, you could be communicating there before you actually meet in real time but i feel communication is very important for you you want to have that deep deep conversations that deep connection and open honest communication we've got balance cracking open deep healing balancing karma so yeah i feel you've been working on this i feel you've been doing that work that inner work on yourself to really open yourself up open up your heart again Deep healing from heartbreak or disappointment in love and balancing karma, releasing karma, doing that inner work and really coming into balance in your energy. And as you do this, this is when you will attract the right person because that person has also been doing that work and they will be your match and they will be open and ready for love as well. And I feel even though you've done healing separately, you're going to together, you're going to heal each other even more. Wow powerful okay let's get some tarot so what are the next major changes for pile one for the highest light and love what major changes are coming in for pile one what major changes are coming in for pile one for the highest light and love Yeah, look at that, Six of Pentacles. So yeah, balanced energy. And we've got two children there. So this could be somebody you've known since a child, maybe a childhood friend for some of you. Or you bring out that inner child in each other, you know, that, that playful, fun energy, you know, being in that playful energy together. You can really um, be playful and fun like children, but not childish, but playful. And the magician, yeah, you have the power to manifest your desires and co-create the universe queen of pentacles energy so this could be your energy you could be an earth sign or you're just very grounded you're very stable and you're financially independent and yes you're very honest with the ace of swords and, and you want that with somebody else you want somebody who's open and honest and yeah the two of wands you realize there's there's opportunity coming forward there's changes 
the highest light in love? What major changes are coming in for pile one? Wow, we've got the Empress. So this is your Divine Masculine, okay? Those of you that resonate with you with that. This is your Divine Masculine coming in. This is your soulmate, your twin flame, the one that you've been waiting for. This is your match. And this is Divine Justice coming in. This is Justice. And yes, you're in that High Priestess mode. You're really connected with your own intuition. And follow your guidance. Wow. And we've got the Ten of Pentacles. So that's abundance in all areas. You know, that is that loving relationship. That's that home, that family. Financial stability and abundance could even involve pets. Um, really connecting with each other's family. Um, so yeah, beautiful, beautiful abundance coming in part one. So I'm going to leave it there. Love and blessings. Hello, part two. What major life changes are coming in for you? Next. So this is your card. This is my deck. Love yourself. And it is available, but not in my shop. If you're interested, just send me an email. So it says, live in the moment, appreciate the now. So I feel this is what you're being encouraged to do. Maybe you're somebody that's looked back in the past a lot, or you're trying to um, think ahead all the time, and you're not, and you're missing the moment. You're missing out on what's happening now. And all we ever have is now. And if you're constantly in the past or in the future, you're not enjoying your life now. So it's time to live in the now, to be where you're at right now and just appreciate where you're at right now. So this is my life lessons deck. So we've got unexpected travel, a journey by boat, plane or train. Intelligent, thoughtful contact. Precious moments, loving times. New life choices, change in direction. So we've got a journey there. We've got unexpected travel. Okay, so this could be you um, maybe get, getting to go away uh, to a different continent. This could be with work. Maybe it's just for recreation. Um, maybe it's because you're connected to somebody that's abroad because we've got intelligent and thoughtful contact so there is some sort of communication and we've got precious moments love and time so i feel it could be connected with a love connection so you could be in different parts of the world okay it could involve travel here um by boat plane or train or you're going to plan a trip with this person and you're going to travel okay somewhere over water um where you need a boat plane or a train um and you're going to have loving times precious moments and this is going to be a new life choice, a change, um, a change in direction for you from what maybe your plans were, um, unexpected change. You know, maybe you weren't thinking of getting into a relationship. Maybe this is un all unexpected <clears throat> and you didn't expect this to happen or you meet somebody from a different continent and you, you didn't expect that. And that could bring up the travel. And this person is intelligent and thoughtful and they really express themselves well and that's how maybe this could um, build through this good communication with each other and you're going to want to be together and have those precious moments those loving times and this is going to involve a whole change in, in direction for you maybe um you stepping out of your comfort zone yeah we've got adventures here so i feel that you're going to be having new adventures and it could be involved tropical places this card always reminds me of like tropical places you know where there's waterfalls there's lush vegetation you know like the tropics um somewhere exotic you know maybe an exotic holiday maybe an adventure holiday um you could go on with this person or you could meet them on an adventure holiday maybe <clears throat> this is something you don't normally do yeah maybe this is something you don't normally do and we've got change yeah so, yeah, look, the horse is up in the clouds and a hot air balloon. So I feel you're seeing things. You're going to be seeing things from a much different perspective than you have done. Um, changes are coming in towards you and you're going to be floating. You know, I feel you're going to it's going to really get you to see life in a whole new way. Um, you're going to be moving forward in a different direction, flying high, um, increase in your status in some way, maybe. Um, changes coming in connected I feel to this person and abundance yeah you're going to have increased abundance in your life um, in all areas I feel you know financially in love and in in experiences you know you this person I feel is really gonna 
it's like a continuation if you look at part one it's a very similar message um there's going to be somebody coming in that changes your life basically and you're going to change each other's lives and you're going to have increased adventures change um in a good way and abundance coming in that you know maybe you didn't expect to come in And we've got surrendering to the journey. Journey again, release control. So look, we've got someone on a boat. We've got a light shining. So you're being guided. I feel there could be internal guidance. Your guides, your angels could be guiding you. And there's a little owl in the tree. So you've gained wisdom. You're following, you're trusting in the process. I feel you're going with the flow. <clears throat> you're trusting in the process. You're being led somewhere. And you're letting go of control, of trying to control outcomes, of trying to control what's going to happen and this is really going to help you to move forward believe it or not this is going to help you to move forward on your journey and first like beginning a new cycle yeah so this is a new cycle and we got like winter time there so it could you know could be nearer the winter time maybe that this new cycle is going to start um but not necessarily um or the person could live in a different <clears throat> excuse me part of the world that is in the winter time in the northern hemisphere but the southern hemisphere is in their winter months so maybe you're from different parts of the world you know north and south hemisphere and that's why there's travel involved but there's definitely a whole new cycle beginning and it's going to be very positive there and um, with the bright bright colors of the sun and the stars and it's guided i feel it i feel it's divinely guided and we got make a wish Clear in comparison, surrender to magic. Wow, it's time for you to make a wish. <clears throat> and I love these little, um, I don't know if they're a weed or a plant in this country. Like you, you, as a kid, we used to blow on them and make wishes. And the, the little seeds would blow off um, into the wind. And as they did that, your, your wishes were manifesting. So don't be afraid to make a wish, you know, clear you know, negative thoughts and beliefs about yourself, don't compare yourself to others, surrender to the magic of life, and I feel you are, because we've got that release and control, and you are starting to surrender more, and to trust more, and believe in your own magic, and manifest in your own magic, and alchemy of love, peace offering, compassion, and Venus energy, so definitely love, and we've got the peace, and the beautiful pink of like romance, so, yeah, we've got peace offering. This is a very peaceful connection. Um, there's a lot of love and compassion. Uh, Venus, you could have um, compatible Venus signs in your charts. Um, but just in the energy of love, you know, just very much <clears throat> a very loving energy, a very peaceful energy with this person. They're very peaceful, very loving. And they're really going to open you up more, I feel more to life so let's get some final messages from the tarot so for the highest light level part two what major changes are coming towards them what major changes are coming towards them yeah we've got ten of wands hoarding so I feel that you're ready to put down burdens. You're ready to let go of all your responsibilities that have been holding you back. Um, negative thoughts uh, from the past, things that have happened in the past. You're letting that go. You've maybe done healing on that, okay. Um, yeah, we've got the, the hermit <coughs> retreat contemplation. So I feel that you've been alone. You could have been single for quite a long time. Spending time alone, doing that work on yourself, doing that healing and you know really focusing on yourself for the highest light in love for pile two we've got king of stars king of wands alchemist so it could be a fire sign that you're meeting um aries leo sagittarius somebody that's very good with manifesting with the alchemist energy very good at manifesting <clears throat> excuse me they could be a they could be an entrepreneur self-made man very successful there's you know they're strong they're passionate they're very sensual sexy 
um, they go after what they want, you know, and they're very, they have a lot of feelings towards you, I feel. The Highest Night Love, Pile 2. What well, major changes for Pile? Yeah, New Beginning. So there is a new beginning. Yeah, we've got Six of Hearts, Reverse, the past. You're letting the past go. And it's about time because you needed to let it go. And as you do that, you're allowing in the new. And we can see it's a beautiful, um, beautiful new beginning. Yeah, Ace of Trees. We've got Abundance coming in, Financial Security. And High Priestess really tapping into your intuition more, following your inner guidance. Yeah, we've got Queen of Hearts, Six Saints. So you're really in tune with yourself. You're going to get more in tune. You're loving, you're nurturing, you're compassionate. And we've got the Tower Reverse, Collapse of Ego. So you're letting go of ego. You're really trusting more in your intuition and following your inner guidance and letting go of the past. The Highest Light and Love, Part 2. Wow. Two of Hearts, Two of Cups. So this is a mutual love relationship that's coming into your life. And it's going to be really collaborative. You're going to work together to create something beautiful here. And it's going to be a very honest connection. And you're both very wise. And yeah, it's it's going to be very successful here with the Six of Wands. Six of Wands. So beautiful energies, part two. I'm going to leave it there. <clears throat> Love and blessing. Hello, Pile 3. You chose this card. And we're looking at your next major life changes. And you're protected always. So... Your guides and angels want you to know you're protected. Maybe you've been through some very difficult times um, where you felt ungrounded, where you felt unprotected, where you felt unsafe, um, where you've been living in fear maybe and going through some very difficult times and not feeling safe. And they want you to know that you're always protected and you can call on Archangel Michael at any time as well to assist you. So this is my Life Lessons deck. So go with the flow of life trust. So I feel you're going to start doing that more. And you may have struggled with that. And we've got fated meeting destiny awaits. A special someone arrives in your life. So there is a theme on these readings. I didn't intend it to be love, but a lot of it is about love. So we've got true intimacy, loving times. And fast moving changes coming in. So I feel as you start trusting more and going with the flow of life and not trying to control things and feeling safe, feeling, um, getting out of the fear energy, you know, doing that work, calling on the angels, Archangel Michael in particular to protect you. They are protecting you or pray for guidance, pray for support and protection. Um, as you trust more and go with the flow and just are in that energy of being and receptive energy, um, there's a there's a fated meeting way uh fated meeting waiting to come in, and it's a special someone. So it could be a soul connection. And with this person, you're going to have true intimacy and loving times. And maybe you've been waiting for this, you know, for a long time. Maybe you haven't had that, um, in a relationship. And when it turns up, it's going to be fast moving. Um, changes coming in. This is going to affect your whole life. This is going to change your whole life, okay? This is somebody that maybe you've been waiting to meet a long, long time. And you may have known them before. You may have known them in a past life. Could could feel that when you meet them that you've met them before. You know them from somewhere. And it's going to be equal. You know, it's going to be very balanced. You're going to have true intimacy with this person. And he's going to be very protective of you as well. He's got this strong protective energy. Um, and he's going to make you feel safe as well. And you're going to do that for each other and you're going to honour each other. You're going to understand each other. You're going to really get to know each other. But because you have this connection, it's going to move quite quickly. And that could be a bit scary for some of you. 
and we've got fork in the road so yeah there are there is a fork in the road and we've got number one plus three four which is about stability so i feel the choice is yours you know there is a fork in the road do you continue on the road that you're on or do you take that fork and take a chance on love and open up to love again and and allow this to develop to allow yourself to love again and to create a beautiful connection and it is fated you know it's a fated meeting and yeah it's time to go it's time to move forward we've got the number four plus five which is a nine the end you know because after that we have the ten which is the number one a new beginning so you're almost ready for that new beginning okay and you're getting ready you're maybe you're feeling this intuitively that things are going to start moving forward for you you could have been stuck in stuck energy for some time because you didn't feel safe because you didn't feel protected um because you had fear and it was it was holding you back and yeah you're going to be very blessed you're going to feel very blessed okay we've got the number two too how beautiful is that so definitely a relationship power number there this is a blessed relationship this is a soul connection this is destiny um this is somebody that's meant to be in your life um you know this is a beautiful blessing coming in and you're going to feel that way and i feel you're both going to feel that way about each other you're going to feel that it's a beautiful blessing and look at that infinite abundance abundance is pouring into your life yes abundance is going to pour into your life as you get into that trusting energy and just going with the flow, being receptive, opening up, it will pour into your life, you know, not trying to do anything, not trying to control anything, just accepting, having faith and trust and belief and being receptive. It this will pour into your life and this can this connection as well will help. This relationship will help with that. And the gates of triumph, success expands in your life. Wow. So the gates are opening, look at that sun. The sun is going to shine, happy times, triumph, success, okay, and you're not going to recognise yourself, you're not going to recognise your life, it's going to be so, so different, um, because you start to trust, because you feel protected, because you feel safe, and it's partly because of this new connection, this person is going to make you feel safe, maybe you've never felt that way in a relationship, but this person is going to make you feel that way. Heal the healer. Soul's Truth, Atlantis and Emerald Tablet. So some of you could resonate as healers, okay? And there's a lot of heart healing here. I feel you've been working on that. And you're connecting with your soul. And this person I feel is a soulmate, a soul connection. And maybe you knew each other in Atlantis. Maybe you're going to feel that. Um, if you haven't read the Emerald Tablets, so I would suggest you read the Emerald Tablets. And they're very awakening, okay? that There's a lot of information there. Um, that will help um, raise your awareness, your um, vibration. Um, but yeah, you're going to feel this soul connection, I feel, with this person, definitely. And my body is a safe space, transmuting, breaking down barriers, realisation. So you could have had issues with your body. Maybe you felt um, insecure about your body, your body image, a lack of self-worth, a lack of self-esteem. But you've been doing that work on yourself, really being in that energy of self-love, really giving that love to yourself and getting more grounded, connecting with your heart, with these red and green energies, really connecting with your heart space, loving yourself no matter what and transmuting any negative thoughts, patterns and behaviours and breaking down barriers, you know, opening up your heart again, uh, removing that block or that barrier around your heart and realising that you were blocking yourself. OK, so really opening your heart more and getting grounded is really going to help you. OK, so let's have a look at your tarot. For the highest light and love, the next major changes for part three. The next major changes for part three. Make some major changes for part three. We've got the devil reverse, yeah. I feel there's been a lot of toxic thoughts in your head, maybe toxic behaviours, maybe toxic connections, and you're letting that go, okay? You've done that healing on that. Yeah, and eight of swords reverse as well, like being stuck up in your head, overthinking, being in a negative energy, um, not feeling good, 
annual release and that okay and we've got the seven of coins so really working on your own abundance working on putting in that effort um sowing those seeds to manifest the harvest to bring in your abundance and focusing on the positive for the highest light and love for pile three what are the major changes Yeah, Ten of Wands, putting down the burdens. You've had a lot of burdens. You've had a lot to deal with. And you're put, releasing them now. And we've got the Psalm. Yeah, we've got happy times coming in. Um, happiness, joy, contentment. What major changes? Yeah, a new beginning. Definitely a new beginning. A new way of being in your life. Wow. The lovers. Soulmate energy. This is your person. And justice. This is what was meant to happen and you're coming into your Empress energy, becoming the Divine Feminine and they're going to recognise that about you. And there's a brand new beginning here, as I said. And yes, Two of Cups. So th this is destiny. You know, this this is something you cannot fight. This is destiny. So I'm going to leave it there. Beautiful messages, part three. Love and blessings.